These are Frederick's with a ribbon of blue. The Lord said this is a commandment we must keep so you can remember to keep the other commandments God commanded us to do. Did you learn that in the church? The church, the preachers in the church, the Lord said that the, the priest's lips are supposed to keep knowledge. The knowledge of the Bible is the law, statute, and commandments. Right. We're going to get that for you and we're going to go back to some more laws to help our brother out, right? Now I see you using the Marine Corps. You want? I saw a simplifying. What does that mean? Yeah, we okay, okay. We're going to get some more laws, all right? Get that for us. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the, every priest, pastor, reverend that's in the churches, we're supposed to be the messengers of God. We're supposed to be delivering this message to our people. So we're supposed to keep the laws at our mouth. Anytime we're talking, we're supposed to speak the oracles of God as stated in 1 Peter 4 and 11. We're supposed to be teaching these laws to our people. So let's go into, uh, let's get that, let's go into the task, let's get that in Leviticus. Because we all, we all was in sin at, at one point, myself and my brothers. We, you may see some on me, but guess what? I turned away from that. I repented. I'm not doing that thing anymore. Because when I heard these laws come out, I stopped doing it. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. You see that? So if you were once in sin, the Lord said, repent. Turn away from those wicked things. No more tattoos. Stop getting those. That's what the Lord that God said. He said, no markers on your flesh for the dead. Because we was doing that back in Egypt. The Lord said, don't keep the customs of the heathen. This isn't something new. Our people was doing this way of four time, Proverbs 3 and 31. Our people was always doing this thing. The Lord told us not to do it. But why do we still continue to do it to this day? Because we lack the knowledge of God. Right. We want passed down the laws of God from our forefathers and our foremothers. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. The Lord said, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So we're not dressing the way the Lord tells us to dress without an order. We're following our oppressors. If we keep, get, keep, get, keep getting tattoos and getting tattoos, that's out of order. That's the ways of our oppressors. In Egypt, they oppressed us and, they, and those are the things that we was following, the customs that they were doing. How about your diet? What do you eat? What do you like to eat? Cause I want because the reason I'm asking you these things is because you said you was in the church and I'm asking you, these are the things you want taught in the church for us. So you want to talk about friends in the church with you. You want to talk about tattoos in the church with you. What about you? They did what they tell you. Did they read that to you? They did? You still you, you still got one after they read that to you? So you willingly broke God's law. You gotta repent from that, brother, and don't do that anymore. How's your daughter? What do you eat? What do you like to eat? Food. Just food in general, no matter what it is. Like you like seafood, you like shrimps and crabs and things like that, lobsters. You do, you eat things like that. What did, what did, when you went to church, did they tell you about those things? What to eat, what not to eat? What, what, what did they tell you not to eat in church? Yeah, what, what else did they tell you not to eat in church? Because I've driven by churches and they've had crab festivals, shrimp festivals. I've been by churches, they've had, uh, it's an old southern thing, but I don't know if you ever uh, a picking. They have a huge hog out there and everybody just going in there digging what, what they want to get. I've seen churches do this. But what is the, you know what the Lord says about that? We're gonna get that for you, Leviticus. Yep, that's that's going into the fish. I'm gonna see if they taught this to you. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divideth the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he took not the cud. He is unclean to you. Have you have when you was growing up in church, has your pastor taught you that not to eat the, eat the swine? He has, but you seen people still eat it, though, haven't you? So these people are willingly breaking God's law. So why continue in those fashions and those ways if these people are wicked and going against the Bible? That's called hypocrisy. That's evil, brother. If they're telling you one thing and doing another, that's hypocrisy. That's evil. Get the, uh, the creatures of the sea. Because they're not telling you. They're telling you these things, but they're not doing these things. So some of the stuff you say you heard before, some of these things you haven't heard before. Now, because they have hatred in their heart for you, now you're being destroyed. They taking you down with them. You're destroying your body from the inside out by not keeping God's laws. Watch this. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the sea and in the, and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. 
So you say you eat other things in the sea outside of fish, right? Did they teach you this in the church? What to eat, what not to eat? And you still willingly went against God's laws, right? And they, even though they taught you this in the church, what about people in the church that taught you this? Were they still eating things outside of fish with fins and scales? So they're willingly breaking God's laws and teaching you that at the same time. That's hypocrisy. That's evil. Do you understand how evil that is? The Lord said that's an abominable thing. The Lord hates abomination. He'll destroy you for that. Give 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Doing all these abominable things, God will destroy you for that. He'll destroy your body from the inside out. You ever heard of a, a freak accident? You ever heard of a freak accident like just randomly something crazy happened and somebody died? That's the judgment of the Lord. That's the judgment of the Lord right there. There was somebody in Virginia Beach. The guy was on the beach. The wind just picked up an umbrella. The umbrella came out down and impelled him. That's judgment of the Lord. The, did you know the Lord, he does evil. Did you know that? The Lord does evil. Yes, he does evil. He makes spirits for vengeance. Give me Amos 3 and 9. The Lord does do evil things. Then we will get uh, the one of Isaiah. Watch this. This is how he punishes the wicked. This is how he punishes the hypocrisy, the, uh, the, uh, the people that, that's uh, hypocrites and keeping his laws. This is, how, this is how God punishes them. Watch this. Amos 3 and 9. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? You hear that? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and people not be afraid? And Isaiah 58 1, it tells the prophets to go out and raise your voice like a trumpet. We're the trumpets bringing warning to you about the atrocities you commit and the sinners will come to you. Read. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? The Bible says, Has there been evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? What is that evil called? That evil is judgment. That's what that evil is, is judgment. You ever seen somebody get shot down in the street like, damn, why they kill him like that? That's judgment of the Lord. Things that have all the evil in the city that happens, the Lord has control of everything. It's no God on this side and devil on this side. No, the devil is under God's control. He's put to work. That's what he does. That spirit, get that for me, spirits of vengeance. There's spirits for vengeance and there's spirits to carry out blessings. All the angels are activated by the actions of the Israelites. And those actions are us keeping God's laws and breaking God's laws. You understand that, Brother Ty? That's what the Lord is trying to show us. You got to keep God's commandments. You got to repent, brother. You got to turn away from those evil ways. You got to come back to God's laws so he can protect you. Because without keeping God's laws, there's no protection over you. Read it, officer. Sirach chapter 39, verse 27. Listen to this, brother. All these things are for good to the godly. Mm -hmm. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. So watch this. All these things are good to the godly, but to the sinners, watch what's built for the sinners. Read. There will be spirits mm -hmm. that are created for vengeance. You hear that? There will be spirits that are created for vengeance. You know them as demons and devils. That's what you know them as. But the Lord said there's are spirits for the wicked. The wicked are the ones that's not keeping God's commandments of our people. There's Read. spirits of vengeance made for them. And what do those spirits do? Watch this. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Mm -hmm. And the time of destruction, they pour out their force. You hear that? And the time of destruction, they pour out their force. When the Lord says, all right, you know what? He won't, he, he, he knows the dietary laws. He won't keep them. Move on them. You see that? He knows how to dress. I done told him this, but he won't harp on it. Right. Move on them. Watch this. And appease the wrath of him that made them. You see, you hear that? And it pleases the Most High God, the one that made those spirits for vengeance. He's sending out hits on people that's not keeping his commandments. Right. People want to talk about who a G? That's the only G right there. That's right. That's, that's right. the real G. G. He's sending out hits on people that ain't keeping his commandments. T. And guess what? The Lord said, none can deliver out of my hand. That's right. It's nobody beside him. It's nobody above him. Nobody can deliver out of the hands of the Lord. And watch what happens to those people. Read. Fire and hell mm -hmm. and famine mm -hmm. and death. Fire and hell and famine and death. It's been incidents people have a seatbelt on, caught catching flames for some strange reason, they can't unbuckle their seatbelt. I can't get out of here. Now they didn't burn to death. What else you got? All these were created for vengeance. All these were created for vengeance. Watch this. Teeth of wild beasts. Teeth of wild beasts. You seen people out there messing with animals, somebody get attacked. This is one lady in Virginia, right? She had two uh, pit bulls, raised the pit bulls from when they were puppies, when they were babies. Out of nowhere, they mauled and snapped on it and killed her. Ate her right on up. 
The Lord said there were spirits made for vengeance, teeth of beasts. People get attacked by bears, alligators, tigers, all kind of wild things. Read. And scorpions, mm -hmm. serpents, and the sword, mm -hmm. punishing the wicked to destruction. You know, you know that, and also what that sword goes into? The nations that were set over us. That's the Lord's swords he used to put destruction on our people. You want to keep God's commandments? You don't want to keep his commandments? Then the George Floyds happen. You don't want to keep God's commandments? Because things could happen to your brothers and sisters because you ain't keeping commandments. Right. You ain't in this thing by yourself. We in all this together. I could be in wickedness and something could happen to you. Matter of fact, I'll show you an example. Go to Joshua 24. Go to Joshua chapter 24. We're going to show you an example what happened to a what happened to a family of people because one man broke God's law. Right. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. You hear that? Look at this sound right here, brothers. These 12 tribes make up the nations of Israel. The Lord asked these people to gather themselves together. O nation not desired. What people on this earth outside of the sign is not desired by anybody? We're the most despised people on this planet. One of the reasons we're the despised people on this planet is because of the way we act, the way we treat each other. People despise, look how we treat each other. We, we shoot each other down, we don't respect each other, we don't take care of our families, okay. we destroy each other. Not only are we despised by the other nations because they look down on us how we treat each other, we're despised by our own people as well. That's another reason God told us to gather ourselves together. But to gather ourselves together has to be under one mindset. And that mindset is the laws of God. That's how we gather ourselves together. If I was I bringing an example of the day, if look at the Million Man March, right? We've seen it over the years, how many times that's happened through our lifetime. What has come of the Million Man March? I want, I want to ask y'all brothers, what has come of that, of the Million Man March? What, what has happened? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing has happened. Guess what? Crime has went up in our neighborhoods. Prostitution has went up in our neighborhoods. Right. Gang banging went up in our neighborhoods. Drugs. You know, gang banging and drug dealing and prostitution is recreational now. Yeah. Like, you ain't doing that, you whack. You ain't, what? You ain't, you ain't um, having premarital sex. Man, you whack, man. You ain't selling drugs. You whack. Oh, you ain't killing nobody? Oh, man, you a coward. You ain't killing nobody. That's the problem with our people today. We're not gathering ourselves together under God's laws. Watch this. Uh, I right, drop that get up with Joshua 7. Watch this. Joshua chapter 7, verse 19. And Joshua said unto Achan, my son, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him, and tell me now what thou hast done, and hide it not from me. So I'm going to bring you back in a little bit. There was a battle going on, and the, the Lord always fought for the Israelites as long as we was keeping his commandments. Right. So that's what, to see what's going on with our people today, we're not keeping God's command, so he's not fighting for us. He's only protecting the children and have a certain level of mercy on the Israelites who is keeping his commandments. So right now what's going on, it was a war going on, and people started to die in our nation in this battle. And Joshua was trying to figure out what's going on. Why are people starting to die? Watch this. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel. You hear that? He said, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, because... Joshua asked him, hey, what's going on? And so he questioned this man, read. And thus, and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonish garment. So he saw this garment, he's like, damn, that's bad right there. I'm going to take that. Read. And 200 shekels of silver. He stole some money too. Watch this. And a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight. Mm -hmm. Then I coveted them and took them. And behold. So that's two sins. Thou shalt not cover and thou shalt not steal. This brother's in the midst of sin right now. Read. They are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it. He removed his tent and buried him under the ground. We wise to do evil. He buried him under the ground and put his tent back over. Read. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran into the tent. And behold, it was hid in his tent mm -hmm. and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent and brought them unto Joshua. So they went back to his tent, removed the tent. Oh, damn, there they go right there. The garments, the money, the gold, everything. Read. And unto all the children of Israel and laid them out before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the garment, and the wedge of gold, and his sons and his daughters. You hear that? It took the money, it took the man, his sons, his daughters. Watch what else they're going to take and his oxen, mm -hmm. and his asses, mm -hmm. and his sheep, and his tent, 
and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Elkor. Mm -hmm. And Joshua said, why hast thou troubled us? Joshua said, you just stole all this stuff. You committed sins. Why you, why you bring this upon our people? You know people about the people been dying because something you did. This is one man. Now other people in the nation are dying. Keep in mind, when you commit sin, it's somebody that's suffering from your sin. You may not see it speedily, but it's somebody in your nation is suffering for something you did. Read. The Lord shall trouble thee this day, mm -hmm. and all Israel stoned him with stones, and burned them with fire, after they had stoned them with stones. You see what he said? Stone them. So that man and his family and all his belongings, all that stuff, he was they were put to death. His animals were put to death. So that was today, and you did that, you were put to death, your wife and kids, your dog in the backyard, your, your parakeet in the cage, all that stuff got killed because of something you did. Because something you did. That's why when the Lord says, if you hate of your brother in your heart, you are murderer. That brother was covered because he had hatred in his heart. He wasn't thinking about his people. He was thinking about himself. He right. was being selfish, man. That's selfish when you only think about yourself. Well, look, shoot. I got to get my man. I got, I got to sell these drugs. What about the family you selling the drugs to? Right. What about that woman that's pregnant with that baby? Right. Now that baby's being destroyed. Now he can mess up for the rest of his life. What about the rest of the family? Right. What about the man that got killed for them drugs? Right. Right. No, I, I got to do me, man. I got to take care of my family. I got to do what I got to do. Now your whole community is destroyed. That's the example right there. That brother committed sin, and now people his nation had to be put to death. And they're fighting for him. They were in the midst of battle fighting for him. And people start to die because this wicked Negro wanted to commit a sin. He hated his people. That's hatred. You People may not understand that when the Lord said you hated your brother in your heart, you're a murderer. That's how I don't have to walk up to you, 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 and pull a trigger. I can hate you in my heart because I don't care the outcome, what happens to you for what I do. That's hatred. For me doing something evil and wicked, you have been put to death for it. That's evil. God says you have you are a murderer for hating your brother in your heart. There's right. levels to that thing. There's statutes to all the laws. Right. That's why God breaks these things down for us throughout the Bible. He shows us, He gives us the law. And he shows us examples from beginning to end. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.